told you. How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious things caught on camera. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. What's more, baby? Our first clip of the day comes from Dean Stewart. This OP was recently recording his daughter when something strange happened on camera. Take a look. You're so pretty, Bilbo. Watching that again, the light at the end of the hall turns on, catching the OP's eye. If we slow it down, you can actually see the rocking horse start to move, seemingly all on its own. The bizarre incident has led the homeowner to suspect that his house might be haunted. So what do you think's going on here? Is it something paranormal caught on camera? Or is there another way to explain the strange incident? Let me know your theories on this one in the comments down below. For some time now, one of our viewers, Bobby, has suspected that his house might be haunted. In fact, the activity's gotten so frequent that Bobby started a YouTube channel called World Paranormal to document the bizarre happenings they encountered. We've featured some of Bobby's footage before. Take a look. It looks like the antique clown doll moves all by itself. Well now, yet more disturbing footage has been captured inside of Bobby's home. It's after 11pm when this uploader thinks he sees something move out the corner of his eye. That's when he took out his camera to try and catch some evidence. Watch. Yo. Yo, I told you, I told you I saw that. I told you it was moving. You can clearly see the doll's arm move. Yo. Yo, I told you, I told you I saw that. I told you it was moving. Throughout history, there have been numerous cases surrounding haunted and cursed dolls. One of the most notorious is Annabelle the Doll. This case was made famous when it was fictionalised in the Conjuring spin-off film Annabelle. The scary thing is, it's based on a very real incident. The doll that would become to be known as Annabelle was originally a Raggedy Ann doll given to a young girl named Donna in 1970. Donna and her friend Angie used to play with the doll and would often find it in different places around their room. One day, they found the doll chained to a bedpost with a note that said, Help me. It was written in a red substance. The girls took the note to their mother, who contacted a medium who told them that the doll was possessed by the spirit of a little girl named Annabelle Higgins. The Higgins family had allegedly lived in the house before the current occupants, and Annabelle had died in a tragic accident. The girl's story caught the attention of famed paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren. They decided to take the case and see if they could find out more about this supposedly cursed doll. After conducting their own investigation, they concluded that the doll was indeed possessed by a demonic entity. They took her back to their home and placed her in a glass case with a warning sign that read, Do not touch. So is it possible that spirits can attach themselves to inanimate objects like dolls and toys? If Bobby's footage is to be believed, then we could indeed be witnessing a real haunted doll. Yo. Yo, I 
Yo, I told you, I told you I saw that. I told you it was moving. This next curious sighting was uploaded to the Instagram page UFO Lovers. The clip was captured in England when this family were out for an afternoon walk. Take a look at what they saw. In the distance is an odd cube-shaped cloud. It stands out in contrast to the more normal looking clouds in the background. Here's some still photos that show the anomaly in more detail. Viewers on Instagram were shocked and confused by the bizarre cube cloud. Its unnatural appearance sparked all kinds of theories in the comments section of the video. Some jokingly said it looked like a cloud from Minecraft, while others couldn't help but wonder whether aliens were somehow involved. Several comments suggested it could be the work of a government program called Project HARP. Project HARP is a research program that seeks to advance our understanding of the ionosphere, a region of the Earth's upper atmosphere. The program is sponsored by the US Air Force, the Navy, and the University of Alaska Fairbanks. HARP stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. The facility is located in Gakona, Alaska, and consists of 180 antennas spread over an area about the size of a small town. Critics say that the military is using HARP as a weapon, and that there have been a number of conspiracy theories about its capabilities. Some believe that HARP can be used to manipulate people's emotions or even control their thoughts, while others think it may be responsible for natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes. So what do you think's going on with this cube cloud? Aliens, government mind control, or is there another way to explain it? I'd love to hear your theories on this one in the comments down below. One of our viewers, who goes by the Reddit username Julio the Gay, sent us this peculiar footage. The OP was recently exploring an old, partly demolished building in the historic suburb of Saint Anne de Bellevue in southwestern Quebec, Canada. Out of curiosity, they decided to explore the abandoned property. The strange thing is, while they were there, nothing particularly odd happened. However, when they rewatched the footage they had captured that day, there was something odd happening in the clip. Take a look. In the background, you can hear an unsettling noise. The OP swears the noise wasn't happening when they were there in person. For some reason, you can only hear it in the footage. The history of Saint Anne de Bellevue goes back to the early days of European settlement in North America. The area was founded as a parish way back in 1703. Due to its long rich history, many locals believe the area is home to a number of heavily haunted hotspots. One of the most notorious is the Auberge Le Saint Gabriel. The restaurant is located in Old Montreal and is one of the oldest buildings in the city. The building was originally built as a private home in 1688 and later turned into a tavern and inn. It's been said that the ghosts of former owners and guests still haunt the place. There have been reports of doors opening and closing on their own, dishes breaking and strange noises coming from the basement. There's even been sightings of a little girl who's said to have perished in a fire in the early 19th century. Witnesses say they see her crying in the corner of the room, but when they go to comfort her, she's nowhere to be seen. So what's to be made of the strange noise captured by our viewer? Given the history of the area and that many believe that spirits still linger from long ago, could this sound be some kind of supernatural phenomenon? Take another listen and decide for yourself.
This photo was submitted to our Slaptam subreddit by user ownresolution7554. The uploader says that her mum's sister was out having some drinks on a girl's night out. The group was happily snapping pics to remember the night by when suddenly they noticed something eerie in one of the photos. In the middle of the group, there's a small hand that's unaccounted for. It seems to be reaching up past the throat of the girl in the middle. The family were freaked out by the strange small hand and had no way of explaining how it got there. Some viewers said it almost looks like the girl in the middle is reaching up and resting her hand on the shoulder of the woman on the left. The OP's aunt, who's in the middle, says that on that night she was wearing bright pink nail polish, but the hand doesn't seem to have pink polish on at all. Plus the family insists the hand is far too small. They believe it looks like the hand of a child, none of whom were present when this photo was taken. While the family isn't jumping to conclusions, they wanted to share this photo because they have no rational way of explaining the small hand's appearance. So what do you think? Is this just a trick of perspective, or is there more going on in this photo? Let me know your take on this in the comments down below. Before we take a look at some striking footage captured at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, Remember to hit that subscribe button and tickle that bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and mysterious videos. This wild sighting was posted to YouTube by Finding UFO. It was captured on live TV by Sky News as they had rolling coverage of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee back in June 2022. As a squadron of jets from the Royal Air Force make a pass over Buckingham Palace, something odd is inadvertently caught on camera. Take a look. An unidentified white or black object flies through the air just behind the jets. The object was even captured by one of the jets on board surveillance cameras. It's brief, but you can see the ball pass by the red smoke. To get a better look, here's the wide shot again, zoomed in and slowed down. The YouTube channel Finding UFO did some analysis of the footage and noticed another strange object passing by among the clouds. So what's going on here then? It's worth noting that the airspace was closed and closely monitored for the special event, so it's unlikely to be a drone. Plus the speed at which the object flies is far greater than any drone commercially available. Even stranger, if we watch the footage again during the shot of the royal family, you can see young Prince Louis point up into the air. Some viewers think it looks like he says, look, there's a ball. But others think he just says, look, there's smoke, perhaps referring to the colourful smoke coming out of the jets. Despite this puzzling footage going viral, there's been no official word from the British government or military on what this object could be. So for now, unless more info comes to hand, this will have to remain a genuine UFO sighting. If you love mysterious videos like this one, then check out our other content. There's an episode there. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist right there that'll keep you entertained. Now, remember to follow us on all our other socials as well. There's links in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 